Hi everyone. So today I'm going to be doing a review about a new appliance that I'm absolutely in love with. To be honest, um, I know it does not look pretty by any means, but this is a Black & Decker toaster oven that I've used for quite a while. Um, I absolutely loved it. No one could separate me from it at all. It did everything that I possibly needed. It would make pizzas, it would reheat things, it would do all sorts of stuff, but it would take time. And I mean, to be honest, I thought it was amazing. I didn't know any better, um, but it was a big time saver for me because I wouldn't have to actually heat the entire oven just for something small that I needed. So a friend of mine kept telling me, try an air fryer, try an air fryer. And I was like, no, I love my toaster oven, I'm good. It took one of my buttons to start sticking for me to think, okay, Yay. let me go ahead and try it. So as you can see, this is what it used to look like uh, before. And now it's a lot sleeker looking, <laughs> um, the same area that I had. So this is the Dash Air Fryer. It's a family size, which is actually perfect for us. Um, if you can see, the tray is actually a fairly large size. I can easily fit about four or five chicken leg and thighs in here and it literally it works perfectly. Um, one thing that I really like about this is that if you unhinge it and you separate it, which is fairly easy to do, both of these pieces are dishwasher safe. You can see I actually just used it for lunch for some fries. And oh my goodness, French fries in this thing are absolutely amazing. Um, if you get the thin cut fries, um, it's literally just going to McDonald's. I mean, it's it was absolutely perfect. So one thing that I noticed about this is that when I was unpacking it, there was a sign on here that says to make sure that you keep it about six inches away from the wall. I'm assuming it's because the hot air would come out from the back. And once when I was actually touching it from the back while it was on, I realized, yeah, it's pretty hot back there. So make sure you don't touch the back. Um, to keep it simple for me, what I normally do, here's the temperature gauge at the very top. It's really easy. I love having the dials over the digital because to me it feels like I'm actually more in control. I can set it exactly where I want it to be and I'm good. So what I normally do is I leave it at about 320 and the only thing I change is the time on here. So if I'm doing, for example, I was doing grilled chicken and I set it for 15 minutes and it was done and it was absolutely perfect. The really good thing that I like about this is that you don't have to flip it. Whereas if you put it in a toaster oven or if you put it in a traditional oven, after a certain amount of minutes, you need to flip it to make sure that both sides are done, even if it's a convection oven. But in this one, since the air actually comes up from the bottom as well, I've noticed I haven't had to flip anything. For the french fries, when I put them when I put them in here, I just literally throw them in and then if needed, I might just take it out and just kind of shift them around a little bit, but then push it right back in. One thing I noticed with this one is because we actually tried out a couple of different air fryers, but this one you kind of have to push a little bit extra to get it locked in. And at first I thought it was kind of a hassle, but then I realized that as soon as you push it in, that's when the heating actually starts up again. So I actually prefer it that way because I know it's not gonna start warming up. And like, here's the dial. It'll show you when both of the lights are on. And when it ends, it's the beep, it's not too annoying. So it's loud enough to where you can hear it and then you kind of know, okay, air fryer's done. I'm a huge fan. I honestly, I didn't think I would be, but this thing has been amazing. It works great for like garlic bread, the Texas toast, French fries. Um, as I said, the, um, the marinated grilled chicken, which I put it on with the spices and everything. So we actually mix ours with some spices and yogurt. So it's a little bit runny when it was going in, but it turned out absolutely perfect. Um, has a nice little sleek design. It comes in many different colors. I actually got it from Amazon and I am definitely so extremely happy with it. Um, I actually got a smaller one for my parents 
um, I believe theirs was the, this is about a six quart. I believe theirs was four and it works out perfectly for them. So that's my take on it. If you have any questions, feel free to ask, but I'm absolutely a huge fan of it. It's very easy for everybody to use. There's really not much you can go wrong with and it's great. So thanks so much. Bye-bye.